Hi there. Welcome to the next hog video. In this video, Hog Ed is going to demonstrate the acceleration caused from compacting multi positions into one position and into one motion. Very typical of our study of the heavenly creatures. Uh, the other hoggy bird rig is great. It does fantastic things. It's just we need better circulation to the legs. We need to be able to launch the body vertically. And we need to be able to compact or collect all these motions and set them in place for one. And that produces the the better the greater strength. It's about 11, and they went easy and fast. On the other rig, because I'm using other motions and other conscious pos positioning, it's, it's, it's using up more energy in other ways. Now, sometimes we have to be able to do that. So it's good to exercise both ways. Although when it comes to understanding the heavenly creatures, they are teaching us something about any position. They are instructing us that when all possible, since we live in a, a different world than they live in, we have to be able to do other things. Yet wherever we can, the best position is a single motion one and it, it would be good for us to learn just what that would be on the television they they have what they call stacking where you do multiple exercises all in one motion that's okay if if that's what you want to do Although, according to the Bible, the heavenly creatures produce the greatest strength by using one motion. And that's what Hog Ed, Hog Ed has tried to do for you all, all the way through all these lessons um, throughout this entire, entire ministry. Whether you exercise or not, the concept can still be used in other, in other ways. Things that we learn here are not intended to be compartmentalized within just the physical. It can be, it, it, it can be the mental. It could be the further strengthening that we need to solve one problem at a time because we have more utilities in us. Rather, if we try to solve multiple problems at a time, our utilities and our abilities are become separated amongst certain things, and we don't have as much thinking power. So there is a powerful lesson here, and it's, it would be to our benefit to learn from creatures of a heavenly nature, how the best performance is produced. And that's that's what this is about. Hog Ed loves you all and looks forward to m many other opportunities to share and to share what the Lord has given Hog Ed. Hog Ed, Hog Ed gives it out to you. It's 
It's like to have an experience with God in itself is a victory. And Hoggett has said all the way through, a true victory is, is one that we, we, we bring home. We, we bring it home and we share it. It's like the um, earning of the bread. And we go out and we buy bread and food and we bring it home and we tear off a piece or we cut it however we do and we share it. It's the same thing with what we learn. As long as people are respectful and want to learn, there's no reason to starve them. We have, we have that obligation to share. Lord, thank you for this time together and for your blessings. And thank you for, for being with Holgad and sparing any further um, possible injury. Instead, um, Holgad's still healing from that automobile accident. The, the, uh, thank you for the healing process. That is con continuing on the left uh, shoulder. It's my uh, and the need to rest on my right is you have given me that to to lean on as I exercise. And Lord, thank you for that and for your graciousness and for your love and, and that we can be in your hand. What hands to be in the hands that have felt the cross and the knives, the spikes that have gone through them. Help us to help the world, Lord, and to win souls for you in your name and for your sacred prayer, Lord Jesus. All right, then. Amen. Thank you so much. About this. this is a neat thing. I think I have told you all about that once before. You can operate a computer system with this one up to 30 feet away. It's good to have good technology and it enables us to, to do more for Jesus Christ. It, it doesn't mean that whatever we do, it doesn't mean that we cannot be successful as long as we're doing what God wants. It's just one of the ingredients in what we do is to have the tools to, to perform the task and to do the jobs and this is one of them that Hoggett uses and I thank you all for being in attendance and for your love for God and for what you're trying to do for, for him thank you now and we'll, we'll, we'll see each other the next time praise the Lord thank you